In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we're going to show you how you can use a layer mask to change the color of one of the pieces of the elements in the photograph. I have this boat on the water and I'd like to change the color of one of the sails. How can we do that using a mask? I need to get into the masking tools and the layers, so I click on the edit button at the very top of the screen and then it creates my first layer which is called background. I'm going to right click on that and use the duplicate option to duplicate the layer and then instead of background copy I'll click on my layer number two, I'll press the F2 key, we'll just call this main boat, press enter and now we have it renamed. I'm going to take the original background layer right now and make it transparent so I'll click on the I on the left side so now all we have is this. Now one thing I want to do is create a mask. I'm going to use one of the sails to do that. So I'm going to zoom in on part of the boat and then I'm going to click the second option down which is my uh, selection option. I'm going to use my automatic selection brush, my smart one. And I'm going to click here. Oh, I have to choose that. Click here and we're going to click the sails on the right side. Now when I've done more than I need, I'll hold the Alt key down and that will that should unselect stuff I don't want to use. And if it's going back and forth, I actually will move to the actual brush tool and this is where we'll actually draw. I'll, I'll create a little larger size. And it looks like I have a little bit of a variation over here, so we'll magnify this area. And so we'll turn the magnification off now. I'll use my draw tool, hold the Alt key down to deselect. And here we'll select it a bit. That's good enough for now. So we'll go back to our fit. Okay, we've selected one of the two sails. Now, to make a mask out of it, all I have to do is make sure this is selected and I click on my mask icon. That's the fourth one from the left. It automatically detects that I had something selected and it creates a mask. Now, it creates what I call an inverted mask. The area that's masked is black. That's the area that you see through the lower level and the lower level is transparent. That's why you see the checkerboard. I actually want the mask not to be that but to be the sails. So I'm going to right click on that and click on invert layer mask. And now the masked area is the sails. We're looking through the layer below the sails which happens to be transparent. Now I'll click escape. Now you notice I haven't actually changed the image itself. I've only changed the mask. What I'd like to do is change the color of the sail. Now if I turn the background layer on, the layer below it, well, it's identical, so it looks like it's the way it used to be. We're going to turn that off again. Let's add another layer. I'm going to click on the leftmost icon and the upper left to add layer, and we'll use a solid color. I'll click on that, and let's pick a color for our sails. Let's pick something in the light orange range and click on OK. Now, it creates a solid color layer as my top layer. I want it below my sails. So I'm going to click here and drag it down and make it my middle layer. So if I turn off the top layer, I'm going to see that my second layer is just solid color the entire screen. If I turn it back on, I see with the mask what I've done is the mask is looking through to the layer below and any other layers and the other one is invisible. So it's just looking right now to the yellow layer and it says it's going to be yellow. Now this isn't exactly what I want, but now I'm going to turn my main background layer on. When I turn that on, it will look through this layer and it will also see what's below. But it's very intense, so I'm going to take the opacity value with my color layer selected and dial it back. And now you begin to see the layer below that. So it's looking at the yellow layer and below it to the markings on the sail on the bottom layer, the background layer. But it still isn't exactly what I'd like. So I'm going to change the blending mode. We have it with normal. 
Now I could click dissolve and that doesn't do what I want. I can hover over them. The next five are darkens. There's a darken here. That's not too bad. Multiply, linear burn, color burn, and darker color. I could use a lighter one, but with with the yellow, I don't know if lighter would give me what I want. And then I have some custom ones, an overlay, linear light, hard light, soft light, and vivid light. Let's try a couple of combinations of opacity and, and, and style here. I'm going to click multiply. That's one of my darker options. And then I can move the slider. And you know, that almost looks normal there. You've got a little bit of the, let's zoom in on this. You've got a little bit of the tension here that came through and a bit of the color. That's not very, that's not too bad. Uh, let's try another one. And here again, let's try linear burn and see what that does. And then I'll experiment with the opacity on that one. There's a real light yellow. There's a yellow greenish. That one's not too bad either. Okay, let's try color burn. And that that's more of a faded option. And then darker color. That doesn't give me much at all. Let's try the overlay here. That doesn't look very natural. Linear light, probably not unless I dial it way back. That could be a very light yellow sail. Not much color to that one. Let's try the hard light. Once again, you want something that looks pretty much natural. You don't want to look like you've spent too much time uh, making it look uh, cartoonish. There's a soft light. Let's see if we dial that up a bit. That's not bad. And we also could use a vivid light. Pretty subtle. I think I'll try the multiply again. And something like that. Now, if I want to change the color from yellow, I can click on the color picker and we can say, well, let's have a pink sail. Click something in the pink range and click on OK. And now I can use the same kinds of tools to change it to a pink sail if I wanted to. And once again, you, you have to be expeditious to use these kinds of tools in a subtle way. Otherwise, it won't look like any of this was original, that it was all done in post-production. So you can pick whatever you think would work in your particular situation. But there we have a kind of a, a very light pink sail that we have because we've used the masking. So masking has lots of applications, one of which is to change the color of an item. You sandwich it between two originals, you mask the area you want to color, and you can apply a color. There are other tools that you can use. If we click here, we could change the level, we could use a curve, we could use HSL, and other things to modify the way the color looks. We won't go into that into this tutorial, but if you want to experiment, those are other layers you can add between the layer with the color and the layer with the upper sail, here called main boat. That's a brief overview of one of the ways in which you can use masking to change an element in your photograph in PhotoDirector 365.